a family in distress, their youngest member on death row for 10 years. Shafkat Hossein was 14 when he was allegedly tortured into confessing murder and sentenced by an anti-terrorism court. Now he's among those to be executed after Pakistan lifted its moratorium on the death sentence. Shafkat left home in search of a job more than a decade ago. His mother hasn't seen him since. I feel like I'm going mad because of what's happened. I nearly lost my eyesight as I cry so much. My whole life has been destroyed. His legal team say they presented evidence to court which showed Shafkat was under duress when he confessed and that he was a minor at the time of conviction. They also say the case has nothing to do with militancy. His brother says Shafkat did not get a fair trial. He was tortured for months. The court should consider how young he was back then. It will be a big injustice if he is hanged. Shafkat Hussein's case is not the only one. Lawyers here tell us that of the 500 people set to be executed in the next few weeks, at least 200 are not terror-related cases. There's huge pressure on both the political and the military leadership to prove that they can stand up to militants. But there are worries that with this wave of executions, the proper legal measures are not being followed. Human rights organizations and legal charities say the death penalty is not the answer to combating militancy. Well, I think what government is trying to say to people is that they're actually fighting terrorism and what I think it is in reality is vengeance, an act of vengeance. The lifting of the moratorium is a knee-jerk reaction which has nothing to do with combating terrorism or stopping acts like what happened in Peshawar. It's just to appeal to the masses and it's just going to put people who have faced uh, miscarriages of justice on uh, execution list. Shafkat Hussein's lawyers say he could be hanged in the next few days after the court rejected their appeal. They'll have to take the case to the country's Supreme Court. For Shafkat's family, however, there's nothing to do now but wait and pray. Shaima Khalil, BBC News, Islamabad.